Welcome. This is going to be a quick introduction and demonstration of the drawing tools functionality in Inside Edge Trader from Blue Water Trading Solutions. I can right click on any given chart and I have a menu option for drawing. When I go to tools, I get a smaller dialog with the different tools that I can use on the charts. So it, from this point, it's a combination of using the tools on the window itself and then that right click menu for drawing. I have some additional options here in terms of deleting drawings and so forth. When I click on any one of these buttons, it'll highlight it. So right now I'm just on my regular cursor, so that's what's green. But if I click on an actual tool, I can now start drawing on the chart. Uh, there are a number of different drawing items that I can use here. This is a trend line tool. I can draw trend lines across the chart as much as I want. A basic limitation is I have to stay when the drawing area. So I can't go outside of the area where the bars themselves are drawn. If I go past say, the leading edge where the leading bar is being drawn, it won't stick. It won't go. If I go outside of the pane at all, it's just not going to work. I've got to stay within that boundary. If I click on the X after having made some drawings, I can pick off individual ones. And I can use that right click menu if I just want to move a number of them at a time. So I've got a number of different line tools for different styles of basic lines. I can do other items like arrows if I want to make little highlights in here. A free drawing tool if I just want to draw free hand. Shapes. I can create boxes and or circles around things. And a text tool if I want to write something. So I go to my area I draw a space for it, write what I want to, and then I've got that there. I've made a mess here, so I'm going to take some of those shapes out of there. Before I do that, I'll actually show two. If I go back to my cursor, having made some drawings, I can select one and move them around too. So I'm going to put my cursor tool on, pick out an item like my box. I can left click, move it around, pick out individual drawing shapes. Right now, I want to clean up for a moment. I'm going to right click again and do drawing, delete all. This click here, horizontal line with a dot in the middle, is a single click line tool. It's a nice thing to draw levels. So if I select that one and I left click, I'll draw a line, a single line. If I left click and drag, I can highlight or create a band there. Now, in this case, I'm covering it up, so I probably want to do it in a bit different style. So let me delete it, clear it out, and show some examples of using that in a different way. So I have some other checkbox options and things that I can do. So in that case, I want to draw that band like that, but I'm going to check background so it doesn't cover up my bars. I'm going to choose a different color so it shows up a little differently. And now if I go draw a band like that, let go. It'll drop it in there and I can highlight a price range. Uh, the alert function is attached to that single click line tool. If I click alert, draw a band, I can do a price alert like that. So I've attached an alert to say if the price action moves into this price range I created, it'll go off. If I right click again and go to alerts, and price alert, can see what that is. I can change the nature of the sound or have a pop-up and so forth. So that's a specialized tool, the single click line tool. Clean out some of my drawings again. Other items that you have here, you have Fibonacci. For those that know how to use Fibonacci, those two tools are here, Fibonacci and a Fib Retracement. Initially I select the tool. If I draw from a high to a low or a low to a high and let go, It'll create my Fibonacci levels there. The Fib Magnet and the Auto Calc just say that it will choose. You just click on the right bar and it'll choose the higher low point for you. And then it will automatically generate the levels. If you right click on one of these Fib buttons, you'll get a secondary dialog where you can choose the different ratios and levels that actually get displayed when your Fib draws. And then choose items like the colors that you use. So you pick those up before applying it. And now I have some controls that are specific to those two. If I right click again and go to the drawing menu, 
there's one that's here, delete fib lines. If I just wanted to remove the fib lines that get drawn, I still have that other basic line I drew for it. I can remove that individually as well. Another item to show, because you see references to it, is global. If I've got multiple charts for the ES, and I want to impose the same drawings across a couple of them, I can do that. So I've got one chart here for the ES that I've been working with, my main trade chart. And then I've got a secondary ES chart that I've spawned from this profile. I take it from the charts menu. I can spawn more ES charts that are part of that profile. So if now, before I go and set up, say, another single click line tool, I'm going to draw one of those bands again. I checked global, though. And when I do that, I go and I create a band. I have the alert function on, so that came back on. I'll say a new alert, like I'm going to draw one for that. A couple of things happened. It drew my band. It was already in my price range, so my alert went off. I'll get that out of the way. But that same band that I drew showed up on my other charts within the profile. This was my one chart I had open, so it highlights that same one. This is the third chart I just opened a moment ago. Creates that same drawing on there as well. And that corresponds to some of these options too. If I right click again and go to the drawings section, I could just delete drawings from this particular chart or if I do globally, I can remove them all across everything. That's a basic demo of the drawing tools functionality within Inside Edge Trigger. Thank you.